Worship the Lord. Tuweze kuinua mikono yetu tupige makofi kwa sababu ya kumwabudu Bwana. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Ebene Wonder you are. 
you have done as well. We worship you, Father, this morning. We give you all the There is no any other God like you. We adoration. We worship. Begin to worship. Hallelujah. He has been merciful. Yes, Lord. He has been awesome. He remains faithful. You know you do not deserve it. You have not earned it. Just lift the name of the Lord. We give you glory, oh my Father. We give you all the honor. It is your mercy. It is your love. That we are here, O oh Jehovah. Thank you, my Lord. To lift up your name, oh Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
past, we love you, my Father. Yes, oh, Jehovah God, we have testimony that you love us, oh, King of all glory. Thank you, my Father. We worship you, my Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Mighty and everlasting Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we bow before your presence, oh, my Father, this morning. Oh, Jehovah God, we praise you, we glorify you, my Father. We kneel our spirits before you, King of all glory, glorifying you, my Father. We have testimony that Jehovah God, you are our God, and none other than you, King of all glory. Thank you, Jehovah God, because of your love, your kindness, and your mercies in our lives, O King of all glory. Thank you, my Father, because the Bible tells us that, Jehovah God, you have great plans for us, O my Father. We have testimony this morning, Jehovah God, that you have done great things in our lives, O my Father. Things, my Father, which you cannot tell, you talking of all glory. Receive all the glory, my Father. Receive all the honor, my Father. You are God, O Jehovah God. God who is uncomparable, O King of all glory. We lift our spirits and thinking of all glory, knowing that, my Father, your ears are always on us, O King of all glory. We know, my Father, you have great plans even for us this morning, King of all glory, because, my Father, we have gathered here, my Father, before in your presence, O my God, just to glorify you, my Father, and say that, God, you are God, our Father. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you know, Jehovah God, you have great plans for us this morning, O my Father. We repent of our sins, O King of all glory, because we know, my Father, with sins, King of all glory, we cannot be light with you, my Father. We pray that, my Father, you may cleanse us and make us whole, O King of all glory, that, my Father, we can be able to move together with you, King of all glory. We know, my Father, that we are be human beings, O King of all glory, and we are about to so many problems, O King of all glory. And, my Father, we know, my God, that we sin, you, we sin to you, my Father, each and every moment, O King of all glory. We bow before you, my Father, with great repentance, O my Father, knowing that Jehovah God, you are going to, 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 my Father, you are going to forgive us of our sins, oh my Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, because we know, Jehovah God, you have great plans for this church, oh my Father. And my Father, we commit it unto your mighty hearts, oh my Father. Thank you, Jehovah God, because of this gathering this morning, my Father. Thank you, my Father, because we know, King of all glory, you have gone so far with us, oh my Father. And this morning, King of all glory, we can be able to, pray, to testify, my Father, your presence in this church, oh my Father. We remember our families this morning, King of all glory. We remember, my Father, each and every one of us, oh my Father, all the families represented, oh my Father, here and outside, O King of all glory. We do present them unto your mighty hearts, O my Father, and we pray for your blessings in our families in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for the love in our families, O King of all glory. We pray for unity in our families, O King of all glory, because we know, my Father, united families make great churches, O my Father. You know, my Father, when the families are united, O my Father, even the country becomes united, O my Father. O King of all glory, we remember our wives and our children, O our Father, wherever they are, O Oh, my Father, we remember our husbands, oh my Father. We remember our children, oh my Father, wherever they are in homes and everywhere, my God. We pray for your blessings upon their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, because we know you are going to do great things in our families, oh my Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, we do remember our country in a special way, my Father. The Bible says, my Father, in the book of Second Chronicles, O King of all glory, now my Father, if thy people, my Father, come to you, Jehovah, Jehovah God and repent their sins, O King of all glory. My Father, you are going to to bless us and heal this country, oh my Father. We remember our country in a special way, oh my Father. That my Father, you may come and heal our country, oh my Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We remember the leadership of this country, oh my Father. We remember the President and the Deputy, oh King of all glory. My Father, in, a, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for the, 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 your wisdom in them, oh King of all glory, in the name of our, our Lord Jesus Christ. And let's continue to lead this country, my Father. We pray for the, 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 the wisdom Oh my Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we do remember the opposition parties, O King of all glory, all the leaders in that special, in the opposition, oh my Father, we do remember them in a special way, my Father, that my God, in the name of our Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, you may also give them wisdom, my Father, wisdom that comes from thee, oh my Father, Jehovah God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we also remember all the other leaders, the governors, and all the, and all the MCAs, oh my Father, even all the, uh, the MPs, O King of all glory, 
we do present them unto thee, King of all glory, that my Father, you may give them that, the wisdom that comes from you, my Father. Even as they open their mouth to speak, O King of all glory, oh my Father, we pray for your wisdom in the name of our Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, because you know you love us, oh my Father. This morning, in the name of our Jesus Christ, we remember those people who are sick, oh my Father, those who are sick in different diseases, oh my Father, we remember them in a special way in the name of our Jesus Christ. Now, my Father, in the name of our Jesus Christ, you know, my Father, so many people are suffering, oh my Father. Many people, Jehovah God, are suffering from cancer and other diseases, oh Jehovah. Even those who are suffering from COVID in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for your divine healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And my Father, you may touch of your people, oh my Father, this morning in the name of our Jesus Christ. There are those people, my Father, who, are, who have great big bills, oh King of all glory, who huge bills, oh my Father, who is my Father, you are so hard to them, oh King of all glory. We are praying for my for your special interference, oh Chief King, King of all glory. We pray for your intervention, oh my Father, that your people, my Father, may be able to get your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We know, my Father, this pandemic which is in this country, and other places in the world, oh King of all glory, is soon coming to an end, oh my Father. Because Jehovah God, there is nothing too hard for you, oh my Father. We pray, my Father, that you may heal this world in the name of our Jesus Christ. We kneel before you, Jehovah God, in repentance, oh my Father. That my Father, if there is anything we have done against you, my Father, may you, Jehovah God, forgive us, oh my Father, and fill this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you know you are going to do something, oh my Father. This time, my Father, the church has been crossed, oh my Father, even the, the other places, oh my Father. We thank you, my God, because this yesterday, my Father, the churches were opened, O King of all glory. And oh my Father, in the name of our Jesus Christ, we will pray, my Father, that you may take this time, Jehovah God, this special time, my Father, to repent to you, my Father, that Jehovah God, you may heal this country in the name of Jesus Christ. We remember our members, wherever they are in, in their homes, oh my Father, as they prepare to come to church the coming Sunday, oh my Father. Father, we pray for your special anointing unto their lives, oh my God. Touch them in special, my Father, in a special way, King of our glory. That my Father, they may come back in a special way, my Father, so that we can have a good fellowship in the name of our Jesus Christ. We thank you, we glorify you, my God. We remember our church this morning, King of our glory. Wherever you are being worshipped this morning, here and everywhere in the world, oh my Father, may you remember everybody in a special way, King of our glory. You specifically remember our church, the Presbyterian Church of of East Africa, King of all glory. From the leadership of the general separate down to the local church, oh my Father, we pray for your special anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. And my Father, as we continue reading this church, oh my Father, may we read it in, the, in a special way, Jehovah God, directing your people unto you, King of all glory. That my Father, at the end of it, all, King of all glory, we will be able to inherit thy kingdom, oh my Father. We want to thank you, my Father, because we know you are God. God who is always upon us, oh King of all glory. This morning, my Father, we have come to this congregation, King of all glory, that we may worship you, Jehovah God, and spread, and Jehovah God, and spread your word everywhere in the world, O King of all glory. We are praying for your Holy Spirit to come down in a special way. And my Father, as your servant speak, stand and speak your word, O King of all glory. We pray for special anointing in, in him, O my Father, in the name of our Jesus Christ. Whatever you are going to do in this service, O King of all glory, we are praying for your special anointing in each and every activity, in the name of our Jesus Christ. And when everything will be done, O King of all glory, we will be there to worship you and glorify you alone, the holy name of my Father. We worship you, we worship you, my Father. We, Jehovah God, we praise you because we know you are God, who is God of all gods, O my Father. Thank you because we know you have heard us. For this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, my Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As, as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us and not into temptation, but we deliver us from evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom, the, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Jumbo. Jumbo. Praise the Lord. Yes, it is another Sunday that God has 
you a nurse? And uh, well, all is uh, today's online service. Get prepared to hear from the Lord, our parish minister, who will minister the word of God. I would also like to inform all the members of PCA Committee Parish that congregational worship shall resume on 9 May 2021. And this is uh, after our president's announcement on 8 May 2021. Members, get prepared to come and worship God on Sunday. President also emphasized on individual responsibility to control the disease. And by this, we are supposed to observe the simple preventive measures uh, and we shall be able to prevent the disease. And these are wearing the mask. And by wearing the mask, wear it well. Cover your mouth, cover your nose. About heart hygiene, washing hands regularly, using running water, and so. The other one is social distancing, and again, we can do vaccination. Members, you have been supporting the running of this ministry. And I would like to take this chance and thank you all for that. And uh, I would also like to urge you that we continue supporting the church, supporting the work of God. And by this, I would like to inform you that uh, we, shall, we have four accounts in this parish, and they will be displayed on the screen and you can post your finances in those accounts so that uh, uh, the running of the ministry can be smooth in this parish. And after this, our parish minister will come forward and pray with you. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much our session clerk for those intimations. Uh, I would like also to greet you this morning, Bona Sifio, wherever you are, you are getting us from. We are grateful to God for this fire has brought us. And uh, we are also happy that God has given us another chance to go back, to come back to our churches and worship his name. Thank you, because uh, even uh, because uh, of the yesterday's announcement by our president, as uh, we have uh, just been uh, reminded uh, by our session clerk, that officially we shall open our churches on Sunday, that is on 9th, and uh, we are requesting all our members to prepare for the same. And kindly observe the MOH uh, guidelines around safety and uh, even uh, for the safety of other people. I'm happy because we have a number of us who attended our service today. Bonas Ifiwe, we are happy to see you. Bonas Ifiwe, look good, you look blessed and uh, expectant to hear from the Lord. The day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and to be glad in it. I was uh, just remembering the words that um, were mentioned by David in one of his Psalms. I was so happy when they told me to go in the house of the Lord. We too, we are so happy. John, I was so happy. The place where we come and uh, meet with our Savior, the place where we come and uh, glorify God, the place where we come and uh, we have the peace, the peace that uh, uh, he has promised in his word, that the peace that surpasses all our all understanding of the human being. Karibuni sana, karibuni tena, na tena. I would like to uh, pray for the offerings, time for offering. 
uh, prepare tabiza wenye wako na ofaring zao mtalete ili tuweze uh, kumtukuza bwana time for offering the normal offering uh, thanksgiving offering and also our tithes wale wako nazo tutalete and also those uh, wenye wako nyumbani we have our pay bill we have been using that uh, system na tumeona ikiwa god bless you even for the way you have continued to support uh, the ministry let us pray Heavenly Father, our God and our Master, we thank you. We exalt your name on high, name above other names. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your guidance. You have been our God. You have uh, taken good care of us. You have provided for us in many, many ways. The many blessings, O oh, Jehovah Father, that you have given us. We cannot even be able, Jehovah Father, to mention them all. There are many, there are many. O oh, Jehovah Father, gift of life gift of uh, salvation, hope in you, sound mind, good health, even uh, the blessing, O Jehovah Father, that you have blessed us at our places of work. O oh God, you have never, never forsaken us. We have never gone out and uh, returned back empty-handed because you have been providing for us in a very mighty way. God, out of those many, many blessings, O Jehovah Father, you have bestowed upon our lives. We have set aside a portion as you have commanded us in your word that never you never supposed to never appear before you empty handed. Oh Lord, receive uh, the gifts of Jehovah Father we are offering this uh, morning. In terms of normal offering, in terms of uh, thanksgiving offering, in terms of uh, tithes, O oh Jehovah Father, remember all those, O oh Jehovah Father, that Lord have purpose to give uh, out of their many blessings that Jehovah Father have given them. Remember them, O oh Jehovah Father, even the, in the week that is ahead of them. How we pray, O oh Jehovah Father, you will continue to be with them. Go ahead of them. Take care of them, O oh Jehovah Father. Expound them. Expand them, O oh Jehovah Father. Lord Almighty, and meet with them at their very, very, very points of need, O oh Jehovah Father. We worship you and we bless your name, Almighty King of Glory. More than to that, God, we also give our hearts a living sacrifice that pleases you, O oh Jehovah Father, as the people of Macedonia who gave first their hearts before they gave uh, their offerings. Receive uh, our offerings these mornings. A prayer of faith in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, I think it is uh, good. We maybe have time to give uh, our offering. So, so I've come with the offering. Come on, make an offering. Kindly uh, bring your offering forward. Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Oh hakuna mungu kama wewe Hawa mungu
not uh, be able to build our hope on other grounds, O Jehovah Father, they are seeking. We have seen them sinking, but the only secure, firm, and strong foundation is you, Rock of Ages. Our hope is in you. Jehovah Father, even as we hear your word, help us, Almighty King of Glory, to remain grounded, well grounded, in you, our Master. Speak to us, O Jehovah Father. In Jesus' name we pray and also believe. Amen. Uh, another new day that God has given us to hear, hear his word. God has been so good, he has been so gracious, he has been speaking to us in different ways. And we have remained encouraged and hopeful in him. Today I want us uh, to share the word of God from the book of uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse number 1 to 10. I'm going to read. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock on the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with the fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I'll now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here I am. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from the, off thy feet, for the place where on thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his feet, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And now, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptian, and to bring them out of the land that the land unto a good land, and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey, and place of Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perusites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression where we, the Egyptians, oppress them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, and thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. I've entitled this sermon, God who sees, God who hears, and God who delivers his people. Uh, the chapter or uh, the scripture that we have read, it talks about uh, the calling of Moses. The calling of Moses. This was the beginning of uh, God's deliverance, deliverance plan. We know very well what happened to the Israelites under the hands uh, of the, the Egyptians. They suffered for almost uh, 430 years. They were subjected to hard labor and a lot of torture. And uh, during that time, these people used to cry to God, used to, uh, to call upon the name of the Lord. I've been calling it the desperate prayer of desperate people. They cried to God in desperation. For all those years, they were seeking the help of above. They were telling God, God, remember us. Like any other person, when uh, we find ourselves in those desperate, desperate situations, what we normally do is to cry unto the Lord because they knew very well that uh, they are only help in Getoka Kwabuana. They cried to God, Mungu Tukumbuke, Mungu, may you rescue us from uh, these uh, Egyptians. When I was reading chapter 2 and other chapters, 
uh, I came to a point and realized that uh, these people had reached a point where they saw as if uh, even God had forsaken them. They started even to doubt whether God was still uh, thinking about them, whether st God was still concerned uh, about uh, them because of the, the suffering, you know, that prolonged period of suffering. Really, does this God care about us? Does this God think uh, about us? At that point, wakati ambapo walikuwa, wakiwa so desperate, when maybe they had reached their end, that is now when God came in. Na kakuja na this plan ya kueza, kuenda, kuwaokoa, kutoka mikononi mwa wa hawa watu, the Egyptians. And that's not where now we have read, mungu nae sasa, akamuita, God called this person, called Moses, when he was taking care of the flock, of uh, his uh, father-in-law in that desert you know that uh, dry place that uh, uh, place maybe no one would have thought Yakomba Mungu would have appeared to this uh, person called Moses that is when God appeared to him in a burning bush listen to what God told Moses chapter verse number 7 and the Lord said I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry. You can imagine God appearing to Moses. You know the same guy had ran away from Egypt after he tried to kill, rescue the Israelites with his own hands, with his, uh, uh, his uh, power. Now, when he realized that Amejulikana, uh, that, uh, he ran away, na kaenda kule katika jangwa, now in that situation, God appeared to him. Akamambia kwamba, Moses, Moses, he appeared in that burning bush. And when Moses drew near to that burning bush, God told him, take off your shoes because the place where you're standing in is holy. I am God of Jacob, Israel, I am the God of your father Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And here I want to send you back. I'm taking you back to Egypt. To Egypt. I'm taking you back to the place where you ran away. Go back to Egypt and rescue my people. Because I have seen, God mentioned three things I want us to think about this morning. I have seen their, I've seen their suffering. I have heard their cry. And here I am, I've taken action. And now the time has come for me to deliver my people. God has sent this person called Moses on that mission to go and rescue the Israelites. I want us to think about three points, three or four points. I want us to ponder this morning. First one is the burning bush. Why did God appear in that burning bush? You can imagine the bush was burning. Naiku kwe naisha. It was not getting burnt off because, uh, you know, you can imagine that is how God decided to appear. Nakakuja in form of burning bush, which was symbolizing the presence of God. The burning bush was symbolizing the presence of God. God himself appearing to humankind. The burning bush, the burning bush, was a way of God invading human life to make himself known and to reveal his will to humankind. He appeared in that burning bush. In the presence of God. Another thing that I learned about the burning bush, God was trying to get Moses' attention. Because upon seeing that bush burning, it was just burning and burning and burning. Maybe at first Moses expected that this bush it abandoned. Now it drew the attention of Moses. And he thought, what this could be? And now he took a step of going nearer to that burning bush. It drew the attention of Moses. Somebody who was uh, distracted. Somebody who now his attention was drawn to that burning bush. And now he started to draw near to it. Another reason for that burning bush, to capture the attention of Moses. Why, why, God, why did God decide to appear in the form of burning bush? 
Najua nilikuwa najiuliza maswali mengi. Mbona why why could it here pia in a temple? Kwa nini hakutokea kwa temple? I'm another place. Why a burning bush an ordinary thing? Najua hicho hicho kibush. Pengine kilikuwa tu kibush lakini ni bush. A thorny bush, a shapeless bush, a dry bush. But God decided to appear on that ordinary ordinary so called ordinary bush because he wanted to atakwenda kuonyesha kwamba vile ambavyo ana appear listen to this burning bush was the almighty the divine manifestation manifesting himself in the midst of and in spite of the weakness and the faults and the thorns of humanity unajua kilikuwa kitu tu hivyo hivyo no one would have thought hata pengine hapo mbeleni Moses alikuwa anapita pita tu hapo katika hiyo bush hanga fikiria wande ya kwamba Mungu ataapia on that bush an ordinary thing a thorny bush a dry bush katikati ya huo unyonge katikati ya hiyo ordinary thing God appeared on that dry and that thorny bush ya kwamba Mungu anaapia in our own weaknesses you know our own faults and appear katika maisha yetu that's another thing about the burning bush lastly the burning bush the burning bush demonstrated demonstrated god's mercy the burning bush demonstrated god's mercy the bush though on fire though on fire was not harmed normally god used to burn up the chaff with unchargeable fire but that time that time i want us just listen to this ya kwamba that time god decided ya kwamba ingawaje inaungua kinaungua that kibush kilikuwa kinaungua hakikuisha pengine ungefikiria itaungua haishe lakini nilikuwa naonyesha kwamba the mercy of god the mercy of god sometimes vile tunajikuta kwa fire sometimes mtu anajikuta in that situation ya fire but the mercies of god they are forever and ever they remain forever and ever yes at a times we get on fire but we are not consumed amen amen on fire but not consumed because of the mercies of god yes i am the god mimi ni mungu ambaye anawa sustain katika tia moto on fire but you are not getting burned up I was speaking to people about pengine wamekuwa kwa moto sana because tumekuwa kwa fire different types of fire but the mercies of God has sustained us the love of God has sustained us God's care has sustained us in that fire we have been on the fire but we have not been consumed by the fire Bwana amezidi kutuhifadhi Point point number 2 When God sent Moses on that mission to go and deliver his people said two or three things alimwambia mambo mawili ama matatu alimwambia kwamba i have seen verse number 7 and the lord said i have surely seen the affliction of my people point number 2 god who sees and then i've heard their cry god who sees and god who hear the cry of his people maybe according to these people maybe they had thought that, or rather they were thinking that god normally does not God has not been hearing our cry. God has forgotten us. Really are you are you concerned about us? As human beings in their own weaknesses, pengine the reason why Mungu anaambia kwamba I have seen. Na the reason why Mungu anaambia Moses go and tell them I have seen because they have been thinking ambao wamekuwa kifikiria have not been seeing. Yeah, walikuwa wamefika mahali wanaona kana kwamba Mungu haoni. Angel maybe even they had even mentioned maybe they are talk the same Mungu sikuja amekosa kutuona does he see yes Mungu Moses akaambiwa go and tell them i have and this is not the only time i have seen all through i have been seeing what they have been going through i have heard their cry kwa sababu wamekuwa kiuliza Mungu nasikia kweli umekuwa ukisikia maombi yetu umekuwa ukisikia kilio chetu i have heard go and tell them i have seen i have heard two, two important things on that bus when i was thinking about uh, the god i serve praise the lord this is the god i serve this is the god who has been with us this is the god we trust in this is the god we depend on the same god anatuambia kwamba i have seen i have seen and i have heard say many amen nimesikia na nimeona god have been seeing all through amen our people 
I know we have been going through a lot of uh, challenges in pain, in suffering. Very challenging moments, very difficult moments. As human beings, I know we too are not exempted of the same question. At the times we even uh, reach out, at times maybe we ask the same question. Really, is this God, does this God see what we are going through? Has he been seeing what we have been going through? Yes, I've seen. My people have seen. Another thing I'm going to encourage. I'm going to encourage Go and tell them, I have seen, I have heard the cry, mark their word, of my people. I love that so much. They were still, they were still his people. They were still his people. Yeah, not, it's always, we need to be aware. See how God called them, my people. That shows, or rather it was showing that how he was caring. He was still, uh, he was still in love with them. Loving them, very caring about them. That's why he decided to call them my people. I've seen the cry of my people. I've heard the cry of my people. In the situation they were in, God intervened. God responded to their cry. I have seen the God who sees, the God who hears. I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. I know we have cried. We have called upon the name of the Lord. Oh, we have sought the face of the Lord. Asking God, may you intervene, O Jehovah Father, in this situation. We serve the God who hears. Amen. We serve the God who sees. The same God who saw these people in their situation. The same God who, hear, who heard their cry. The same God that we have today. Mungu ambaya naona. He has seen. Natakwambia kwamba Mungu anaona what they have been going through. I want to tell you that with a lot of confidence because I know that because I know this is a God who hears, who God who sees these people. Mungu husikia. Na Mungu huona. Ajakosa kuona, but anaona. He has seen. He's seeing. He's still seeing. Ameona yale ambayo tumekuwa tukipitia. Anaona hata sasa anaona yale ambayo tunapitia. The kilio, the cry we are crying. We have cried. Families have cried. As a nation, we have cried. Yeah, same God. I'm seeing. I've been seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm And then after that, the last one. But I hope you know. In Jakuwa, it's very discouraging. I don't know what I would uh, I would be preaching to you this morning. If at all, God stopped there by just telling them, I have seen and I have heard. Then after that, that is the last one. That's the last question that I want us to think. The last point that I want us to think about this morning. After seeing, after hearing, finally, finally, the last bit of that verse, and I've heard their cry by reason of their taskmaster. Verse number eight. And now, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of these Egyptians. Amen, amen. God who delivers. He does not only hear. He does not only see. He also go another step further of delivering. He take an action. He took an action. Besides seeing and hearing, he took action. He called Moses and told him to go back to, to Egypt. God has his own ways of rescuing his people. He uses different methods. Here in this case, he used Moses to rescue his people. When the creator of the universe decides to move, I love that so much. When the creator of heaven decides to move, things can happen really fast. God has committed himself, rather God committed himself to deliver his people he came to their help. He came to their rescue. And one beer, after seeing, after hearing, I've now gone down. I've come to deliver them. God who delivers. Who are not to deliver? I've just been praying to God. God, may you remember us. Deliver us from this pandemic. Deliver us from this situation. Deliver us from this pain. Oh Lord, we know very well the Lord. You have been hearing. You have seen the, 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 the cry of the people. You have seen, Lord Almighty, the suffering of your people. You have seen the pain of your people. You have seen the affliction of your people. You have heard the cry of your people. Lord, now we are waiting upon you, Jehovah Father, for deliverance. May you deliver us. The same God who delivered them from 
the hands of the Egyptians from that situation that they were in the same God that we believe in that our help will come from him the same God we are believing and trusting that he will deliver us the God who delivers us is still there and he will deliver us from the hands of this pandemic from the hands and the snatch of this pandemic may we keep our trust and hope in him God who appeared in form of a burning bush his presence appeared kwa Moses wakati ambapo alikuwa in that point ya kwamba hata alikuwa amefika mwisho God appeared to him in his weaknesses in his frailties God appeared to him kama bia seen i've heard and now he has come to deliver to deliver to deliver my people my people we are still god's people at wakati tunapitia magumu god's people god's people our members god's people and here we have god who deliver his people may god deliver you may god help you may god be with us all in the name of god the father and the son and the holy spirit to say amen we are waiting upon your deliverance oh lord thank you because of those very encouraging words that you have seen you have heard our cry we have cried oh your father here at wezi sema apana we have cried as a nation we have cried individually we have cried families have cried oh lord for many many reasons people have lost their jobs people have been affected so we have cried over oh, even now we are still crying oh your father god almighty god who hears may you deliver us oh lord we are waiting upon you in jesus name we pray and also believe joy and peace we commit our lives into your keeping we commit the lives of those uh, whom we love whom we are related with we work with our brothers and sisters in faith Jehovah Father even during this time kindly we pray that Lord you may bind us all together with the church triumphant in one holy fellowship of praise and to the end and at the end bring us to the share in those joys which you have laid for those who love you Jehovah Father and now unto him who loved you has uh, been uh, watching over you over you has uh, been taking good care of you God who sees God who hears God who delivers his people who has freed us from all our sins by his blood and given us a kingdom and make us priests of God and the Father to him who is able to do far much above what we think what we pray may he be with you and guide you in the course of the week that is ahead of us now may the peace of god which passes all and all human understanding keep your hearts in the knowledge and love of god and of his son jesus christ our lord and the blessings of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be with you and remain with you now and forevermore amen, amen. have a blessed week Thank mm -hmm. you.